Rapunzel. Once upon a time, a young couple lived in a cottage beside a stone wall. They were very poor, but very happy, as the woman was expecting a baby. On the other side of the wall lived an old witch. The witch grew many herbs and vegetables in her garden, but she kept them all for herself. One day the couple had only a few potatoes to eat for their supper. They thought of the wonderful vegetable patch on the other side of the wall. It was full of delicious looking carrots, cabbages, and tomatoes. Surely it wouldn't matter if we took just a few vegetables, said the wife, gazing longingly over the wall. We could make such good soup, agreed her husband. So the young man quickly climbed over the wall and started to fill his basket with vegetables. Suddenly, he heard an angry voice. How dare you steal my vegetables? It was the witch. Please, don't hurt me, begged the young man. My wife is going to have a baby soon. You may keep the vegetables and your life, she croaked, but you must give me the baby when it is born. Terrified, the man had to agree. Months later, the woman gave birth to a little girl. Immediately the witch arrived and grabbed the child. Though the parents begged and cried, the cruel witch took the baby. She named her Rapunzel. Years passed, and Rapunzel grew up to be kind and beautiful. The witch was so afraid of losing her that she built a tall tower with no door and only one window. She planted thorn bushes all around it. Then she locked Rapunzel in the tower and never let her see anyone else. Each day, Rapunzel brushed and combed her long golden locks. And each day, the witch came to visit her, standing at the foot of the tower and calling out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel hung her hair out of the window and the witch climbed up it to sit and talk with her. But Rapunzel was very lonely. She longed to leave the tower and make friends her own age. Each day she sat at her window and sang sadly. One day, a young prince rode by and heard beautiful singing coming from the witch's garden. He hid behind a thorn bush, hoping to see the singer, but instead he saw the witch. He watched as she stood below the tower and called, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The prince saw the cascade of golden hair fall from the window, and he watched the witch climb up it. He waited until the witch climbed back down the hair and returned to her house. Rapunzel began her song again. Enchanted by Rapunzel's lovely voice, the prince climbed over the wall and crept to the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, he called softly. Rapunzel let down her locks and the prince climbed up it. Poor Rapunzel was terribly afraid. She had never seen anyone except the witch before. When the prince explained that he only wanted to be her friend, Rapunzel was delighted. From then on, the prince came to visit her every day. Each time he carefully waited until after the witch's visit before calling to Rapunzel to let down her hair. Months passed and Rapunzel and the prince fell in love. How can we be together? Rapunzel cried. The witch will never let me go. The prince had an idea. He brought silk which Rapunzel nodded together to make a ladder so that she could escape from the tower. One day, without thinking, Rapunzel remarked to the witch, it's much harder to pull you up than the prince. The witch was furious. Prince, she shouted, what prince? The witch grabbed Rapunzel's long hair and cut it off. Then she used her magic to send Rapunzel far into the forest. 
The girl made her home among the animals and birds, and sang sadly as she collected fruit and berries to eat. Soon the prince came to the tower and called, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The witch held the golden hair out the window, and the prince climbed up and up and into the tower. But instead of Rapunzel, he came face to face with the ugly old witch. You! screamed the witch. You dare to visit Rapunzel? You will never see her again! And she pushed the prince back out of the window. He fell down and down right into the thorn bushes below. The sharp spikes scratched the prince's eyes and blinded him. Weeping, he stumbled away. After months of wandering, blind and lost, the prince heard beautiful, sad singing floating through the woods. He recognized Rapunzel's voice immediately and called out to her. Rapunzel ran to the prince and held him in her arms. At last I have found you, she said and cried with happiness. As her tears fell onto his hurt eyes, the wounds healed and the prince could see again. My love, he said, and kissed Rapunzel. Rapunzel had never been so happy. She and the prince were soon married, and Rapunzel's parents came to the wedding. Rapunzel and the prince lived happily ever after in a grand castle, far away from the old witch and her empty tower. The End